Good morning, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my viewers and subscribers. Now I've got like 70 subscribers. Yes, 70 subscribers. Thank you so much to all of my 70 subscribers and all of my viewers. I do really appreciate you guys. And if you're yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? So easy to subscribe. I've got a video showing you how to subscribe to my channel. I'll leave the link down below. Please watch that video and you can subscribe. It's that easy, guys. So I'm going to go straight into today's video. Today's video is going to be about me recommending activities and places that you can visit with the kids during the Easter holiday. First of all, I'm going to be starting with transport. Every child under the age of 10 is to free transport on the London Transport Service. The London bus, the underground, the T um, DL and DLR, the tree down below and you can find out more information. Children between age 5 to 10 would require a photo card. So I'm going to first start with the free places you can take your children to during the Easter holiday. Most of the museums in London have free entry for parents and children. The Science Museum, the London Museum, the Greenwich Royal Museum is free entry for parents and for children. But while you are in the museum, you might, you might be required to pay to use some of the facilities in the museum. This is a picture of the Science Museum from the outside. This is a picture of inside of the Royal Museum Greenwich. London Transport Museum, you have to, parents will have to pay £14 to gain entry, but it's free for the children. So these are the free parents can go with their children. There are also free places you can go. The Queen Elizabeth Stadium in Stratford. Free indoors and outdoor activities, activities during the Easter holidays. I'll leave a link down so you can find out more about the indoors and outdoors activities in the Queen Elizabeth. But it's free entry to get into the Have children that are interested in outdoor activities. Most of the local parks in your area are free entry. But if you want to go into London and you want the kids to experience going on the train and the buses, for those that don't regularly go on the train and the buses, you can take them to Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens. They are all located in London and they all have free entries and they have so many activities that's going to be going on during the Easter holiday. But just remember before you go on these outdoor activities, Make sure you check the weather because obviously if it's going to be a rainy or very cold day, it might be frustrating for you and the kids. Move on to activities and places you can visit with the kids, but you'll be required to pay. The London Zoo, the sea life, sea life in London. There's also a sea life world in Southend. So for those that live in the Essex area or that will be in the Essex during the Easter holiday, you can visit there. It's not as big as the one in London. The Shrek the tour, um, studio tour in London for Harry Potter's for Harry Potter. This indoor space called the Kid Zania. I'm not sure a lot of people are aware of it. They have a branch in london and in dubai i'm just going to talk briefly about the kids i don't think a lot of people are aware of it kinzania is a beautiful indoor space where kids can go and explore what it's like to be different professionals doctors dentists dancers firefighters police officers different professionals so they get to dress up like these professionals so this is a place i, I highly recommend for you to visit the kids, it's not. Kidzania is located in Shepherd's Bush, London. If you have kids that are interested in football, you can also visit the Chelsea Stadium, the Arsenal Stadium, the Wembley Stadium, and they can uh, get a chance to tour the stadium. interested in swimming most of the leisure centers in your local area should have swimming pools so you, you can find out more information from your local leisure center and for those that want to explore outdoor pool depending on the weather there are so many outdoor pools in london i'll leave information about the outdoor pools in london those 
that have kids that are interested in theme parks there's so many theme parks not far away from london they go like about an hour 30 minutes an hour 50 minutes depending on where you live in london chessington alton towers Thor park have kids that are in Papa Pig. There's a Papa Pig theme park like two, three hours away from London. You can go there for free. And for those that want to go to Europe during the uh, holiday, I have a video on Disneyland Paris. I'll leave a link down below and you can watch more and find out more information about visiting Disneyland Paris. And there's also a uh, Nickelodeon land in Madrid, take the kids there. It's an amazing place. And like I said, depending on the weather, because it's an outdoor space. And there's also Liconodian land in Blackpool. It's about a few hours away from London. Like I said, I'll leave I'll leave the link down below again for you to find more information. And in, in Blackpool, they also have an indoor, a very big indoor water park. So it's Blackpool for a few days with the kids and they can explore the Nicol Nickelodeon land and the water indoor water park. Blackpool is over four hours drive from London. So a website called Kids Pass. You can register the at the moment they're doing an offer it only cost you one pound to register and i think close to 1000 attractions and you can buy your ticket from that website to be cheaper for you to buy a ticket from this website so a ticket to go to like the london zoo to go to the sea live they have an offer going on at the moment it's going to cost you one pound for 30 dates kids pass membership studio tour to the theme parks like not the tip as I mentioned earlier, Legoland, Papa Pig. So they have close to 1,000 attraction tickets you can buy from that website. And they're only going to cost you £1 to register. And then you can buy you can buy tickets at this discounted price. And this, If you feel like the other place I haven't mentioned in this video, feel free to leave a comment and, and recommend other places that you recommend for we parents to visit with the kids during the Easter holiday. Places in London, outside London, and few places in Europe. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And subscribe, guys. Subscribe. It is free to subscribe. Thank you so much. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.